All right, so since the last time we talked about it as a channel, <laughs> I haven't seen Levi Shadowborn Abomination. She is a Shadow Brute hero, and it's a full hero. It's not a Blitz hero. It's all probably important, actually. I wonder, is there a smaller version? There is a smaller version, mm -hmm. right? Okay, just making sure. If a card with six power or more has been put into your banish zone this turn, cards you own lose blood debt during your end phase. That's actually super sweet. So it keeps you from having to take damage. Because you take a damage for every card with blood yeah. debt that you decide to keep in your in that zone. It's super good. Yeah. <laughs> like, <coughs> And you get to do it on your turn, so then you get to draw up, so you don't even hurt, lose anything. And br the way Brute works, you're discarding cards. Oh, it's the Banish Zone, though, so it only works as a shadow. See, and that's the weird pit push and pull. Because I know Kyle has been real hard on how are you going to balance this when regular, like, Reinar can't use shadow yeah. cards, but, like... Reinar doesn't care about the banish zone at all, and the shadow cards do. So it's, yeah, so you're gonna get you wouldn't to, want to use. You're them. gonna get to integrate right. some of the big brute cards, but some of the big brute cards are gonna be useless for right. this. Character. Well, actually, I think you can go more regular brute cards under this, even as a juke move, because I believe that head games are very good in this too, because you can change their um, sideboarding and stuff like that, and then run non say say they focus on keeping your banish zone empty and then you just don't play banish zone stuff yeah but you know what i mean like yeah. oh, you, you're revealing this yeah like absolutely. that's a whole other layer of the game that's like actually like just exists uh -huh. now because <laughs> this that could legitimately be two different decks yes like, right so now so yeah now you have to guess a little harder getting into but that's, that's also another thing that they're adding something. for rune blade i kind of feel like with giving it that instant as well. Well, yeah, I think Rune Blade's in this. I don't yeah. think they're covering all eight heroes. I think there's going to be two uh, Shadow and two Light in this. That's it. And they're, and whatever those classes are, they're going to get regular cards and Shadow and Light cards for whatever it is. So, like, Brute's getting Shadow cards, but some of the cards in this set are just regular Brute cards, such as... Hold on. Yeah, like, Pulping. Is just a regular brute card, yeah. so brute's still getting support. Like Reinar still gets support from this set. Well, yeah, and I think, I think that we're gonna because of the size of the set. I think they left room to balance it out. So if they're gonna give you four generic brute cards, I think that they could easily give you four warrior cards for. Yeah, but I don't think. But that's what I'm saying. Like give you the fourth piece of each character's. They gear. can't do that because of draft. That ruins draft. What you're talking about stops draft from being a thing. And draft is ultra important yeah. to LSS. Like, you can't throw in stuff that you're not supporting as a hero. Like, that that's yeah. pr proof in point. Yeah. You can't do it. Like, that's why Crew wasn't a draftable set. They didn't sell it as a draftable set. It was a, a, a whatever the set was called, um, supplementary set. Yeah. It, it wasn't their main set. This is a main set. This will be draftable. There's going to be four heroes, whatever they are, and they're going to be supported. Maybe a fifth. There might be a fifth. But, like, it's going to be draftable, is all I'm saying. Yeah. And they've already... And actually, they put a really good article out, the, um, the talent article, where they kind of went into, like, a lot of that stuff. And, like, how they designed all this stuff and the thought behind all that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Then, like, where what is the extra cards? That's The extra cards are the Light and Shadow. Because Brute's supported all the way through. Even though they're going to be, even though it's a Shadow Brute, they're supporting Brute as an entire class. Because she can run regular Brute cards. Yeah. So, for her, it doesn't affect it all. The, the only thing they're adding is a, a, a Shadow variant to her, but they're also supporting Brute as a class. So, like I said, Reinar and Kao, Kao are also getting cards from this set, even though they can't run the Shadow cards. Yeah. So there's going to be Shadow and Light of Brute. Say, uh, Viserai say is just the other Shadow. There's going to be a Shadow Viserai with Shadow Viserai cards and regular cards for, for Runeblade. Yeah. 
and then say light, say there's a light wizard. Wizard will get some regular wizard cards and light wizard cards. And then the other light one, guardian. Light guardian is going to get light guardian cards and regular guardian cards. The regular guardian cards can go to, they call them legacy heroes, which are the heroes that don't have the talents. So they get, oh my god, dude, the amount of, the amount of space they opened up for this is insane to me. Like, now, every single class, they can have one come from Do Dominary, or Dom, uh, what is it, Dom, Domestry, Dementry, I can't remember, the, the Shadow Place. They, every single class can come from this and have their own variant of a shadow version, eventually. Same thing with light, because the light people are coming from, um, where, uh, Silencia? No, that's a magic. Um, where, uh... Demon Astria. Yeah, and where, um, uh, where, uh, the Dorinthia's from. Is, whatever that is, is the, where the light in this set is coming from. So it's basically those two regions are in this set you know what i'm saying so yeah. like next time we that they show up to um the shadow place they can have two other shadow classes that it's just a whole nother thing it's just yeah. uh, it's such a good rabbit hole so anyways i think that's sweet and then uh endless ma oh that that's nice <laughs> yeah. so this costs three it's a red pitch you can read it i don't want to <laughs> As an addition to the cost of playing Endless Maw, banish three random cards from your graveyard. If a card with uh, six or more, I'm assuming, uh, the mouse is over it, oh, is banished bad. this way, yeah. Endless Maw gets plus three. Flood dead at the beginning of your end phase, if Endless Maw is in your banished zone, lose one life. I mean, it seems like a pretty heavy hitter. Uh, it could be dangerous for you, though, it seems, with the blood debt. I guess it's going to depend on how prevalent blood debt is and how avoidable the loss of life is. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, I don't think it's going to be so much. Well, it's going to be avoidable, but I think it's going to have to do with you um, uh, playing the card from your vantage zone yeah. and... Getting you and it. you regulating when you're gonna go for whatever you're you're because I think the blood debt is gonna have a bunch of payoff cards for like what you do like um what was it eclipse where you have to play six of them and then you yeah. can play that from there and it does whatever it does but you have to play six yeah. blood debt cards or whatever so that involves you having two in hand and two in there or whatever it takes so like yeah but again if you build it right. You can turn off blood debt very often. Excuse me. What's up, bud? <laughs> well, for sure the artwork is not disappointed. But I still see the necromancer back there, and he is... Or the two necromancers, it looks like, um, controlling the shadow brute. Um, with the the headless shadow brute that his body splits in half and has multiple layers of teeth. So. <coughs> uh. But I think that there's also going to be ways with this card with a balanced build where you could be just removing your Command and Conquers and your um, Bighorn Barrage and things like that um, where they're still helping you and they're still cards that are functioning and triggering your 6 plus attack ability and things of that sort but not giving you an excessive blood debt uh or maybe some type of vampirism cards where um maybe 
maybe the big payoff cards deal one damage to your opponent and you gain life equal to your blood debt or something like that. Um, <clears throat> because otherwise I just can't imagine like surviving that much drain if you're playing a deck of all blood debt. Let me switch us back to the next card. And we will go to Shadow of Blasmofit. Blasmofit. Very old timey villagers type of a picture. Draw a card, then discard a random card. If a card with six or more is discarded this way, search your deck for a card with blood debt, banish it, then shuffle your deck. Blood debt one. <coughs> deal six damage so yeah there's got to be there's got to be some kind of benefit to having this this blood debt maybe I missed something with a previous preview because I mean that's a <coughs> otherwise that's a pretty rough card there to search for something to immediately banish but I mean if you're pl if you're able to play enough of them from your your banish area I guess that uh, that offsets that as well so you just keep loading it up with power and then play it from the banish zone so all right we're just gonna move right down the line I believe we've talked about these two so we're gonna skip them We've talked about the Brute Rare. Okay. See if we can find any of these on a page with a picture. <coughs> I'm not sure if we've gone over, or if Vince has gone over this one or not, so we will just go over it. Let me see if I can uh, get us to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Soul Harvest. Six pitches for blue. Legendary specialized as an addition to the cost of Soul Harvest. Banish six cards from your graveyard. It gains plus one for each card with blood debt banished this way. If Soul Harvest hits a hero, banish all cards with soul or all cards from their soul. They lose life equal to the number of cards banished this way. Okay, so again, this is <coughs> targeting specifically the two light heroes that are going to be in the set. Right. Because. Because. <laughs> uh, I'm back. <laughs> okay. um, this card seems nuts. Yes, it seems very, very powerful. Do, do we know what? Do we know? Oh, I'm going this. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up? Silencia, there it is. Or Solania. I feel like you're only going to take damage from blood debt for your first two, three turns. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Then you're hitting... I can't see it. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, then you're hitting the hero ability every turn after that. Sorry, man. Ah, oh, there we no, go. No. That's a little better. 
They just released Chain Spoiler. Chain, man. Or Chain. Chain. Dope. Dope. Why? That's, I don't understand why that H would be silent. How is it Chain? It's Chain. That's how you say it. It's, uh, not everything's America, man. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> I think it's Kane. I don't think it's Shane. Chain. Okay, now Chan. you got me on this. I think it's Kane. Yeah, Chan. I mean, it could be Chan, but it's still... Chan! Chan, Chan. So anyways, <coughs> back to this. Sorry, we weren't ignoring you. That's, that's all I was trying to get to. Yeah, I just didn't notice it. Sorry. Um, yeah. As an additional... So yeah, this thing hits big. What I need to know is what Soul does, like to really, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the, gonna be the big thing. Like, I know that a lot of the the cards. That's what I mean. Is it another pitch zone? Is it like something at, like another cost for some of these cards? It, yeah, it's partially a cost. It seems. So you need because... a way to put them in there, and then a way to yeah, cause... and then you use them to pay later. <clears throat> The one that, uh, I don't know what happened there, um, <laughs> but that box cap just shot off of there. Um, the one that looks like the zoomed in picture of each strike. Oh, um, yeah, right, you banish three, it, it yeah. you banish three from your soul, so obviously it's partially a, some type of payment, um, but there's got to be a way to get soul cards there, right. too. Right, yeah. Or the maybe the character starts with soul, or I, I I don't know. That'd be crazy. I mean, if we look at this character that's been released, it might actually answer some of our questions. Maybe, maybe we, we, we ain't there yet. Magic. I mean, I'm with all this. What what am I looking at? What are you doing? <laughs> what wait? Oh, where yeah. where, where are we at? Um, we are on. Wednesday mutated mass. Mutated mass from Red Zone Road. Oh, video. No. no. I like what you're doing, Team Conan. I need to know this, dude. Uh, oh, it's a four hour video. I'll watch that later though. I like those dudes. Um, Red Riot? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, pause it. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, Deadwood Road. I guess we could have did that on all these videos. Yeah, find I guess it, so. find it, yeah. just find it right there. But. All right, so this is a three red pitch. It is a Shadow Brute action attack. Draw a card, then discard a random card. If the card is six or more attack, is discarded this way. Banish a card from a graveyard. Blood Debt one, eight attack, no block. Now I want to I want to point out a lot of things don't block in this set. Not a lot of things, but there, there's like these. This is an attack action. This is 100 percent should have some kind of block. It has no block, and this isn't the yeah. only card that does that. So these things actually have a huge cost in running in your deck because they don't block. It's like having like uh, energy potion. I like mean, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it just hurts yeah. not to have that extra block, especially later in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's what we found when we were first. Uh... Playing around with Mac because we were mm -hmm. trying to build like all three types oh, in right. my deck. Yep. And I found a lot of times my biggest problem was if I was playing against anybody that dealt physical damage, um, I couldn't block. At right. least the item will work for against for the pitch, shot, right? But for pitch, uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. So like, I feel like Mac needs a card that says. Uh, all items gain some kind of block plus two for blocking that's actually a, a fair card because it costs you a card to play it let's say it's it, giving you pretty much the minimum defense that yeah they give let's say it costs zero because that's fair because you have yeah. to pay it and then you'll have three cards it gives you six it's minimum defense yeah but yeah there you'll, you'll notice that there's cards throughout here that uh just don't um don't block, man. Yeah. Who? Which was that? No. That was the fourteenth, and that was that the Deadwood. So Dread Screamer should be next. Okay. Dread Screamer. This looks sweet. You can go ahead and do this one, my guy. 
As an addition, it will cost to play Dread Screamer. Banish three random cards from your graveyard. If a card with a six or more attack is banished this way, Dread Screamer gains go again. Blood debt. Six damage, red pitch, and two cost. I mean, it seems pretty good. Especially if you're running Brute, you're going to be... And this is a common, so, you, <clears throat> so it'll have all the versions. More than likely. Yeah, also. yeah, more than likely. So, yeah, so you're going to see that. And, but you got to stay above that six. Sometimes that blue doesn't fit in the deck if it doesn't have a six attack. 100%. 100%. So. But, I mean, also considering draft and stuff and, and seal. Yeah. Considering, yeah, and that, considering we, we'll be playing yeah, yeah. a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, come, especially at first. Um, I'm actually sick, dude. The, my my excitement level. Uh, yeah. I'm just playing some sealed. That whole weekend yeah. for that, I'm doing both sealed. So. I I'm doing the one pre-release. Yeah, I got into it. two. Yeah, I did so. not. But that, that, yeah, it's dope. But I'm just talking about it on the channel. We'll, we get to do sealed with some first edition. It's gonna be exciting, man. Fucking cracking, fucking ah, oh, dude, cracking them cold foiled. I think we should do a first edition box seal, deck v deck. We just open a whole box and that's what we play against each other. I, I don't want to start with that, but yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's what we built up to. Yeah, I would love I'm to with do that. that once. Like I would do all the seals, put them back in my box, and then play that box the way you're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like double dip that box, so we'd be able to get four seals out of it. Yeah. yeah, we get to play four seals, and then we can do a deck construction. I mean, I'm fine with that, too. Yeah. I mean, we could do the other thing, but I don't... I, I, well, the other thing gives us, the, gives us a whole box opening at one time. That's... True. So we get to do the whole box opening, so we get to show that every pack, you know, is actually coming out of a box, so... But we get to do that either way. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like how's it change? Well, I mean, because we're going to be cutting for four different seals. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's lie to everybody. Yeah. Are we going to no, reseal no, the pack like so we pull what... that cold foil? Are we going to pull that... Are, are we cheating? What... Are we that's... telling people about it right no, now? No, that's what everybody's going to say <laughs> when we pull the cool shit. <laughs> I don't care what they say. <laughs> They'll know by our excitement. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, like, now that I know what it yeah. is, I remember the first time you opened yeah. my cold foil for me, and I'm like, like, "Oh, that's cool. Oh, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Like, like four hundred bucks." What's that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, anyways, do Man, I regret the... oh, yeah, selling it, it though. You should. No, you shouldn't, because I'm a wizard player. I mean, let's be real. No, it... no. For the first one I pulled was the Vizier Tronic. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Called foil from crew. I was sick for Angie's, but I mean both of them. Yeah, I mean I'd love to have both of them, but that's not realistic that I would have kept both. Did my dog just like fall over? <laughs> it was like so loud. Yeah. All right, let's. Okay, so do we even talk about this? Or what is yeah, it? yeah, we did. Gets uh, go again. Oh, yeah. so it just gets go again. Ah, yeah. Yes, yeah, but I mean that's highly likely that you're gonna hit a six plus when you're removing three cards at random from your graveyard and break. Yeah. It's gonna be three cards. It's, it's not even it's not even that random anymore. Yeah. Like <laughs> Like you're gonna pick what's going to your graveyard and what's getting pitched. It might cut down on how many boost cards you can play though. And Brute does like to do a lot of boost cards for the Intimidate. Mm. You do notice that we haven't seen any Intimidate on it yet. So That's true. This side of the Brute must not get a lot of Intimidate. Session blood. All right, let's find the card. Thank you, guys. This is it. Limb from limb. Tear limb from limb. I love how they like it's a nice long title. We got a blue pitch mythic, so this is probably the only color. Yes, that is probably the only color. Yeah, this is probably the only color. Draw a card, then discard a card at random. If a card with six or more is discarded this way, the next brute attack action card you play this turn gets plus X, where X is its base attack. Go again. Cool. Just a pump. Pump oh, and gives wow. you a bunch of... Yeah. Man, look, look at this picture. Can we, can we talk about it for a second? <laughs> now he's just holding guts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the well, art he's of this eating game. guts. He's got blood in his mouth. 
He's eating. It's true. Well, yeah. Well, I think he took a bite of his arm. <coughs> but that also means he's probably eating the guts. You're yeah. right. All right. I guess I, we're arguing with semantics here. Mm. <laughs> All right. There one one one, one sweet surging militias. Oh, I think I saw this one. Oh, it's a Discord thing of a jig. Yeah. You got a of it? Did you do mutated math? Um, I don't think I did. No. I thought you did, because that was from the day, that was from the one day. Was it? Yeah. No, I didn't do mutated math. Huh? Well. We're going to do mutated math. Huh? Go for it. Did you do Boneyard Marauder? Oh, they're, they're all here. Yeah, nice. Who's this? Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know. Oh, this is the Discord page. Nice. I don't know if... They can see this. I just thought about that. Oh, okay, yeah. That's fine. So where are we at? Mutated mass. I think we're at mutated mass. Hmm. No. No. That's old. Old. Okay, here we go. Limb from limb. Memorial Ground. Okay, I didn't see this yet. Memorial Ground is a red zero cost. Ooh. Put target attack action card with two or less from your graveyard on top of your deck. It's an instant. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. Hooves of the Shadow Beast. Okay. It's a a <coughs> shadow brood equipment for your legs in case you're cold. It has battle worn, so once you block, it gets a negative one counter, but you still get the effect. Whenever a card with six or more is put into your banished zone, you may destroy hooves of the shadow beast. If you do, gain one action point. Not bad. That's a brood. It's, it's so cool. It's like the other. Like. The other two legs that Brute typically uses, though, it's just... Right, until you're running a Shadow Brute. Yeah. That, that, that's, you know what I mean? Like because I the, mean, that might be a nice Because the way Shadow works is in defense. and out of Banish. The scales don't give you the defense. And the other one, you could lose your entire turn if you're playing against somebody that's way luckier than you. Also true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, what is this thing? Oh my. Oh yeah, I saw Evan this one. Evan Fold. This is a shadow equipment. So you have to be a shadow at any shadow. So like later in the game, this right here in Cold Foil, you lock away forever. Because this just gets better every time they revisit <laughs> Dawn. <Yes. laughs> yeah, dude, what? So instant, destroy, pay one, uh, destroy it. Banish a card from your hand. If it's a shadow card, draw a card. Awesome. Spell Void. If you were going to take damage, you may destroy it. To prevent two arcane. No. Okay. Oh, it's a common. Never mind. I, I got all excited like it was a mythic. And yeah, I mean, I, it would still, still be dope. a pretty sweet still dope. common cold foil that... People will probably be playing. I yeah, I just overhyped it. I apologize. <laughs> um, brute weapon, not shadow brute. Right. Note that. Very much. All right. Sorry, I can't actually read it from over here. Uh, when you attack with uh, ravenous meat axe, draw a card, then discard a card at random. If a card with a six attack is discarded this way, this gets plus two until end of turn. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, it's a nice 
It's a nice five attack every turn. Probably. It's a five attack, and if you're running Ra Raynar, and it works, or Rhinar, and everything works out, you get an Intimidate trigger out of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you attack, you remove, draw a card, and then discard a card at random. Yeah. And then yeah. you can Intimidate before the attack. It's actually really good. Absolutely. I like it. Yeah, big fan. Shadow Brute Web. Here we go. Majestic. <clears throat> the Hexagore. The Death Hydra. Nice. Yes. Once per turn action. Two resource attack. Whenever you attack with Hexagore, it deals damage to you equal to six minus the number of cards with blood debt in your banish zone. Wow. It attacks for six for two. Yeah. But you take damage too, and like you can't swing it without blood debt. Yeah. That's actually. Well, no, I mean, you can, but you're just 6 6. <laughs> and they can block. You can. Yeah, you don't get to block that. It deals damage to you. Well, maybe you can block maybe. it. Maybe. You might be able to block it on the other Maybe, other maybe you can block it. Thing's dope, though. Look at the, look at the picture on that. Yeah. That thing's dope. It's sick. Sith. What is this? Dread Sight. Rune One, Blade weapon. Rune, oh, just Rune Blade. Two-handed. Once per turn, pay three attack. Whenever you attack with Dread Sickle, or Sith, <laughs> deal one arcade damage to the defending hero. A hero dealt damage by this weapon can't gain... Health during their next action phase. Okay. <coughs> I like that. And it's a majestic universal. It can be used for both. Yeah. Yeah. Well, vexing malice. This is just a shock plus an attack. They're swinging with both. He is a dark paladin. He is stealing your life and dealing physical damage to you with a axe or a hammer or a scythe, I guess. Uh, makes sense. Like, seems very dark paladin-y to me. And I love it. And I think that, I still think that the Rune Blade cards are going to look the best foil. So far, most of the stuff, I mean the Shadow stuff is sick as well. Um, but the Rune Blade stuff still best foils in the game. Uh, let me see if I can navigate back to a different one. Soul Shackle. At the beginning of your action phase, banish the top card of your deck. Shadow Rune Blade Token. Soul Shackle. Soul Shackle. Yeah. It's a token. It's or a, a token. So. At the beginning of your action phase, banish the top card of your deck. That seems good. It seems real good, but I don't know. Maybe this is what came Prince Chan. And Could be. Yeah. So let's keep moving. Keep going. There's Chain right there. Is it? Uh, He's the Rune Blade dude. Is he? Yep. Nice. All right, Galaxy Collab. I it earlier. This is dope. Once per turn, action, turn action. That's a lot of events. One resource attack. If you have played a card from your vantage zone this turn, it gets plus two until end of turn. If it hits a hero, deal one. It should get plus three. Being a little block for. Going over getting four is the the number it seems. Yeah, yeah, four four is like the the big swing. 
Yeah, that that's. I mean, I guess for one mana. Yeah, that's and, true. And it's one mana it. swinging for three, potentially three every turn. But it doesn't like replace its action. <clears throat> yeah, it like doesn't replace its action, and it hits kind of weak. But I guess if they're gonna take it, they take another. They take an. Well, yeah, but I mean, look at the normal build. This could just be to slow your opponent down a little bit so that you're not blocking so much sure. until you build your. Uh, well, true. no, because your Ruin Blades would go off, too, wouldn't they? Ether, Iron... Oh, that's blade. true. The Ruin... Your, uh... Your Ruin, uh... Your Ruins will go off, too. Yes. So... Yes. So you could just keep heat on them the entire time. Destroy Ether Weave. Gain two ac or, uh, resource points. Activate this ability only if you have played an attack action card and a non-attack action card this turn. Go again. This is a Rune Blade equipment. Common. It has Battle Worn 1, so it blocks for 1, and then you get this ability at some point. It's actually good. Nice. Two, two free resources on your big turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go, Chain. Kane, you got me saying Chain. It's Kane. Chain. No, I like Chain. Chain, hey, Chain, look, Chain. He's got a Chain weapon. He does. That makes it more Kane. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, the, oh, my man. What's up? He Once per badass. turn action, create a Soul Shackle token. Alright, you were right. It yeah. came right from him. Your next Rune Blade or Shadow action this turn gains go again. What? There you go. There's your go again. Nothing that you said. Nothing has go again. That's because it he's going to give everything. Or the first thing every turn. But you have to banish cards off the top of your deck. But you get to play cards from your banish zone. Mm -hmm. And there's blood debt. And you need to get go again to get rid of more than one card. Dude, they're geniuses. Like, very cool. <clears throat> I don't know if they're geniuses because I unlocked it. But I probably didn't unlock it deep enough because they're probably smarter than me. But a lot, that it all makes sense with this dude, for sure. Right? And uh, that dude, more so than any other character. Look at Young. I don't like I Young I want Chain. that character. I want that dude. <clears throat> What's this dude doing? Oh. Shadow Rune Blade. So that means... That means we're not getting... What are we getting and not getting, dude? I don't know. Do you think we're going to get uh, so a Light Warrior? Do you think we're going to get a Light Guardian? There's heavy speculation on a Light Wizard. Like, heavy. Um... And then from that, I, there was a bunch of speculation on Ranger, but I don't can't see a light Ranger. But I could be wrong, because she's kind of dark as the legacy, right? She's from the pits. She's kind of... I, I would align her evilly. Well, what other... Isn't there a ninja that's also from the same place that Kano's from? No. Who else is from... All the, all the ninjas are from the same place. Okay, so... Kano we'll... and... Is it the merchant? No, the merchant and the ranger. Kano the and um, Kasai, then. Kasai. What are if, from the same region. <clears throat> if we're going to get a light wizard, then what if we get a light wizard and a light warrior? And that's why the set's so big, because we get a fifth character this time. That, I, like I said, I, I'm not doubting a fifth. I'm not. Or like, maybe a light Shiana. Guardian. Shiana. She can play everybody. Yeah. She copies her opponent. That would be a way to add a fifth character without adding a fifth character. And there's not an adult Shiana. No, true. Yeah. So when's if it's just adult Shiana? Because there's a sixth legendary, too. So there's like, say, oh my god. There's like an extra legendary too. There's gonna, I gotta buy so much of this. 